Imagine playing RuneScape but only by using items obtained from Slayer. I've been playing this way for a while now, starting out by punching, flinching and even suiciding my way through the early tasks to obtain my first upgrades. But I've come a long way and now I can take on some of RuneScape's biggest Slayer bosses. Will I reach level 99 Slayer and complete the Slayer collection log? My name is Vanica and this is Slayer Drop Log. Are you ready? Let's begin. Last episode we reached level 99 ranged, the first 99 on my Slayer drop locked adventure. This led me to the question, am I going to get the skill cape or not? Under normal circumstances this is not allowed on the account, since it needs to be bought from a shop and this is not allowed. But it is such a special achievement, so that is why last time I asked you what to do. Almost every single one of the viewers with an opinion about the skill cape told me to just get and use it. It is an achievement I completed through Slayer and skill capes should always be an exception. And some of you had different ideas, for example allowing it only as a show off item in the bank or getting it after I get 99 Slayer only. So what decision have I made? I will tell you by the end of this episode. But first, please leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you want to stay updated on the content. And now let the Slayer grind begin! These Kraken tasks always take ages to complete, but now that I can hit more with my magic thanks to the occult necklace and just the increased damage of my enchanted slayer staff, it is not too bad to be honest. And um, actually I'm getting back so much more food than I use. I still am using the watermelon trick, so super happy with that. We are working on the last kill, and after this we're gonna go back to Durado once again. And um, yeah, let's hope that once again we're gonna get a new good task. That is 520 tasks done, and let's go to Duradel. Okay, that is a boss task, Callisto. Um, I guess I'll just slay three only, because, yeah. You know why, I've been killing this thing for ages. Okay, there's the first kill. What will we get? It is 140 blood runes. Here comes the second kill. And we get coins. There we go, final kill. And we get a rune to hand sword and we get bk straight after. Or well, he's trying to. Oh, yeah, okay, there we go. But no problem. Didn't lose anything special. And once again, it is time for something new. What will it be this time, Duradel? 161 gargoyles. That is interesting. It is time to kill the gargoyle boss again. Now I have slayer rings, so it's going to be much faster, much better. Alright, so I think my setup is much stronger than it was previous time when I killed the gargoyle bosses. I have um, a better plate body, that is for sure. I have better stats. Um, not sure if I had the Abyssal Tentacle before. I got the Primordial Switch and the Gothix Dragonhide Boot Switch. And I just, uh, well, I got Slayer Ring, so we can get there faster. I really want to see how this is going to go. Will you ring the bell? I should start in my range setup now that I think about it. I even forgot to bring my special attack weapon, but still, this is a breeze. It is such an easy boss now. Like, I, I don't have to spend any food, I don't have to waste anything. I mean, I'm just gonna go and do one kill per trip anyways, I think. I mean, now that I think about it, I might even do like more kills per trip, now that it's so easy. It will save a lot of time in the long run, so... There we go. Got the first kill of today. And what do we get? Death runes. That is not bad.
Oh my god! I got the pet! No freaking way! Oh my freaking goodness! I was hoping for this pet so bad! This is one of the best pets in the game! And I just got it! That is absolutely mad! Wow! Oh, this is beautiful, guys! This is beautiful! I'm so happy with this pet! Wow! I still have, like, a loss for words. I don't know what to say. This is so sick. Honestly, this is one of my favorite pets in the game. And I was just hoping, like... This boss has some useful drops, but not like that game-changing uh, drops. But I was like, if I can get lucky and get the pet early on, that would be like so great. And it actually happened. 164 kills. Oh, wow. This is really sick. Alright, so after getting the pet, I decided to do a couple more kills, but that is it for now. I've done more than enough. So let's go and finish the task at the regular gargoyles and then continue. Alright, I just got a superior creature here, but I'm not prepared for this fight. So what I'm going to try to do, and maybe um, this will not be successful, but I'm going to attack it once. Then teleport back and try to run back as fast as possible. So that's what we're going to do. Attack it, teleport. I don't have too long, I think. Okay, so it literally just disappeared straight after I attacked it. Maybe the next time I do this, I just should not attack it at all and then try to teleport back. I don't know. We just finished the gargoyle task and we have to kill 65 Anku. Well, that's a very, very quick task. And that's the last kill. 180 Cal fight, fair enough. And that was the task already. Okay, so I only do spiritual creatures when I have them from Tristilia so that I can get the Laren's keys. Um, now I'm going to cancel them though. So let's do that and see what we're going to get now. Greater demons. That is actually interesting. Is this the time? Should I try and kill Krill? It's been so long since I tried that. It's about time we start killing some God Wars bosses, right? A long time ago, when I didn't even have my Arc Light yet, I did one attempt to kill Zemi and, well, that was not a great idea. Oh. <laughs> This was so bad! But now I'm much stronger with better supplies as well, so I think I should give another shot. Before we are going to do this though, there is a quest I'd like to complete. And this is going to be a very exciting one. A kingdom divided. Completing this quest unlocks the full Arceus spellbook, giving me access to spells like Ward of Arceus, which lowers incoming demon damage by 10%, Thralls, to help me fight slayer creatures in battle, and Vile Vigor, a spell to swap my prayer points for rem energy. These spells are incredibly useful for my account and they may help me during my future adventures. But A Kingdom Divided takes a while to complete, since we still have to gain some favor and subquests to do. So let's go and do this. Well, what do we have here? A big swordfish. And there we go, level 82 fishing. Awesome. Alright, so it is now time to prepare myself for all these subquests I have to do in order to complete uh, a kingdom divided. But before I can do that, I need 20% favor in all the houses. Luckily, I got the Archaeus, Hosidius, and Chasian favor already. We're now doing the Lova Cane, I don't know how to pronounce it, favor by mining this volcanic sulfur. And not sure if you guys know this method, but there's actually a safe spot from these dusty clouds by making a spider attack you and then stand in this exact spot right here and then I cannot get attacked by these things. Now of course I cannot keep this volcanic sulfur, I'm gonna have to drop everything, but I'm using my skilling tool to process the, uh, the favor, but that is totally fine. It is a very slow process though, so not sure how long this is gonna take me, but yeah, we're gonna have to keep doing this until 20% and then we're gonna go and move on to Piscarillius. Let's go, 20% Lovacane favor. Okay, so now I'm going for 20% Piscarillius favor and there's just one thing that I don't know. I need planks in order to repair the cranes, but I only have oak planks. There is a way for me to get regular planks, but I'm just first gonna check out if this works. If not, then I'm gonna have to obtain those planks, but yeah, let's just try. Well, that is unfortunate. Wooden planks, so no, this doesn't work. Let's go and get some regular planks. So in order to obtain regular logs, I'm going to use the serum that I made with Herblore on the villagers because there's a chance to get some loot from it. 
and it is a common drop to get between one and five regular logs and this way it is still like obtained within the slayer process because of course to make this potion i had to obtain herbs that i got from slayer i created this with herb lore and i'm using the serum on the villagers to get uh, the logs so that is what i'm gonna do and i need about 120 planks i believe so let's see how long this will take so i use the serum on this guy thank you and he gives me coins there we go, we got five logs. So what is very nice about this is that they also give me tarot mints and these are actually needed to make more of these serums. So if I run out of these, then I at least got some tarot mints back so I can make more. Okay, so it took almost an hour to get 122 logs. Wow, can't believe it that for just regular logs, it took so long. But anyways, we got them now, let's make the planks. So we finally got the planks. Now let's go and fix those cranes. Okay, that's now also done. We got 20% Piscarillia's favor. It is finally time to prepare for the quests. So basically there are five subquests that we have to do before we can do Kingdom Divided. And that is the Depths of Despair, Queen of Thieves, the Ascent of Arceus, Forsaken Tower, and the Tale of the Righteous. I have already done the Ascent of Arceus, so there's only four subquests left. And all the items I literally need for all these subquests are in my inventory already. It's not that much, so it's really easy. So I guess let's just start with the first one and see how fast it'll go. We are now doing the Depths of Despair. And for this, I have to kill a snake. But there's literally no item required in this quest, so that's convenient. First one completed, three more to go. For the second quest, Queen of Thieves, I need a stew. And I can actually make a stew myself because I can go to the pottery wheel to make a bowl. And then fire it here so I have a fired bowl. And fill it with water and potatoes and heat it up. And then we got the stew. Let's heat up the stew. Of course, I first need meat. So let's cook this. And now add it to the stew. And now cook the stew. And there it is. Alright, so now we go through this dialogue. And then we have to give Robert the stew. Here you go. That is the second quest done. Let's light the furnace. And another one is done. Just done a mini crap chamber of the chambers of Zarek, the crystals. And down we go. Let's go, the last subquest done. I just realized that I missed one minor detail. Before we can start the quest, I need 100% favor in all the houses to do the combined quest. Let's get to work. We got 100% favor in all the houses and we have also now completed the mini quest that is attached to it. And the nice thing about this is that I can now teleport to this location with my Xerix talisman. That is very nice because I don't have access to the regular teleport because it requires a book and this book is not obtained from Slayer. So this is by the way, this is like a way to bypass that. So that's really awesome. Here we go for the actual reward, an antique lamp that I will put on Slayer. There it is. We are ready to start the quest A Kingdom Divided. According to the wiki, the only items I need are an axe, the volcanic sulfur, defense potion, molten glass, dark essence block, and one cast of firebolt or better. First fight of the quest against Yama. And then she turns into a demon? Or what? Yep. Let us begin. Bam. Oh. Can I protect melee? It's gonna teleport me back, isn't it? Yep. It happens every time. I gotta be, like, more patient with it. I have food with me, though, so nothing to worry about. Okay. I'm gonna wait until the second wave comes. Let's go. One more hit. And there it is. Defeat of the boss. What? I got a... I even got Slayer experience because I want a greater demon task. I didn't even realize that. <laughs> this boss actually counted as a greater demon. Wow, that's, that's a big coincidence right there. 
It is time for Mr. Assassin. Can we kill this guy from a safe spot? That's my question. Oh, yes, we can. Bye bye. Oh my. What is going on? Oh, that's not good. It's time for another boss battle. I'll just put on Protect Mage. That should do it. He's gonna throw the hands at me. And we continue. And that is the final hit of the first phase. Oh, I didn't really realize that. Oh, actually, <laughs> okay, it was only one phase. That's fine. I am out of charges, so I really need a Lizardman task soon. We are finally here, the end of the quest. I'm very excited because now we have unlocked another spellbook, the Archaeus spellbook. We also got the Book of the Dead and this one we can actually use. I can charge this with runes that I got from Slayer. That's gonna be huge. And of course the antique lamp that we're gonna put on Slayer as well. This is really sick guys, so many possibilities. Wow, let's use the antique lamp once again on Slayer and we got 10,000 Slayer experience. This is nice, there's one thing that I forgot. I actually got myself a second Xeric Talisman in the bank. I can dismantle this and that is exactly what I'm gonna do for 100 Lizardman Fangs, so I can charge it again. It is finally time for a rematch with Grill. Slayer Drop Locked is getting so exciting now. I honestly cannot wait to see my character wield a God Sword or any other God Wars weapon for that matter. Krill has some very interesting unique items and one of them is the Zamorakian Spear at a 1 in 127 rate. This weapon would by far be the best stab and crush weapon and just in general this would be my best weapon so far. So it would be a very welcome addition to the account. It also has a chance to drop the Staff of the Dead at a 1 in 508 rate. This staff is unbelievable, giving a plus 15 damage boost in all spells and a 1 in 7 chance to save runes when using combat spells, which is huge. And it can autocast almost any spell in the game, which makes it even more interesting. Then there's the Zamorak Hilt, also a 1 in 508 drop. Getting this drop by itself would not mean that much, but if you can also get the Godsword Blade pieces, I can get my hands on the Zamorak God Sword with an Ice Barrage-like special attack which may come in very handy at many places, especially considering the Slayer Drop Lock rules. Last but not least, we got the Grill Pet at a 1 in 5000 rate. If there's one pet I like more than the one we just got in this episode, it is this one. So let's pray to the gods we can get some crazy RNG. One other very important thing I have to mention is that I am on a greater demon task, which means I can kill the boss on task and I can kill one of the three minions on task, which is this one, Sanon Karlak, because this is a greater demon, this is a lesser demon and the other one is a black demon. That means that if I get a drop from either the black demon or the lesser demon, it is not on task, so I cannot pick it up. So in like a doom scenario, if, he, if one of these two drops like a Zamorak Spear or like a God Sword Shard, I have to leave it on the floor, I cannot pick it up. Or I may pick it up and give it away or something, but I can't keep it on the account. So let's hope that will not happen, but just to let you guys know what's going on here. All right, let's go. It's okay if I get hit a couple times now. I'll probably make a lot of mistakes here. I really am too like scared to put it on um, protect range right now. I mean, the other ones are using brews when they do this, but I don't have too many brews and Eating normal food interrupts your um, fighting at your attacks. I feel like I can't attack in time. I'm not sure what that is though. Oh man, this was a disaster. This was a complete disaster, to be honest. All right, it is time for attempt number two. I think eating the food is what messes this up because, okay, now this time I was able to attack, but I cannot do it every single time. Oh, that was a misclick. Okay, so I kind of messed it up there now. Yep, I'm gonna go. And sell it out. Okay, the range method, throw it all out of the window. We're just gonna go and try to do a classic kill with a melee setup. Oh my goodness. I'm just eating. I got an imp champion scroll, but I can't pick it up because imps cannot be killed on a slayer task. Sorry, this is gonna be painful for a lot of you, but yeah, I'm gonna leave it on the floor right there. Now that I think about it, if you do kill the creature from this scroll, you do get Slayer experience. But of course I did not get this item from Slayer, so 
I'm gonna leave it in the bank and, and ask you the question. What do you think I should do with this? Should I just drop it? Or should I actually go and, and, and get it? It is now time to fight Krill straight on. And for this method, I'm gonna test if it's good enough. I'm gonna try and do Protect Mage instead of Protect Melee. And then combine that with my Ward of Arceus. So his max hit will still be 41. But he will not be able to do any of these special attacks that are like devastating and cut your prayer in half and all that stuff. I will have my Thrall with me. And um, yeah, I'm just gonna have to keep attacking the boss and see if I can kill it before he kills me. We are close to the first kill. Very close. Hey, look at that. We did it. We actually killed the boss for the very first time. Now, we didn't get a great drop, but this is great. We got the kill, at least. There we go. We got ourselves the second kill. We got an adamant play buddy. He did a yar, but... Oh my goodness. He did drop a rune spear. Is that fair drop table? I don't know what it is, but... Wow, that was a very close call. There's another kill. And we get blood runes. Let's go. Got another kill. And we got nothing. Kill number six. This was a pretty solid kill, to be honest. We got no good drop, though. I'm so close to a second kill, but I'm not getting the hits that I want. So please, be a little lucky here, because otherwise I'm gonna die. Oh man, that sucks. I was close to a second kill this way, this time. Alright, solid kill. We got nothing good, but okay. I actually got a clue scroll from the meleeer, which I can't pick up. Okay, well, almost out of food, everything. Oh my god! Oh my freaking god, the staff of the dead! No freaking way! No freaking way! I can't believe my eyes! Eight kill count! We got the Staff of the Dead! That is the first unique from God Wars Dungeon! And what a drop it is! A 1 in 500 drop! No freaking way! The Staff of the Dead, my friends! That is epic! I was already planning on like teleporting away. <laughs> no way! This is so big. The first drop in God Wars Dungeon. Wow. If you aren't excited for more God Wars content now, then I don't know what else will make you excited. This episode's unlocks were absolutely incredible. Starting off with the Noon Pet from the Grotesque Guardians and ending off the episode with my first ever God Wars Unique on Slayer Drop Locked, the Staff of the Dead. Oh, and about the range cape? I've decided that I will allow myself to buy and use the range cape, but only after getting level 99 Slayer. The time will come, my friends. We just need to be a little patient. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to leave a like and subscribe to the channel to keep up with the content. Thanks so much for watching, and until next time, bye bye.